Welcome builders, Andy is your here and welcome to our wizard tower tutorial and this tutorial is going to focus on the top of the tower, the very wizard hat kind of top bit. Not really the bottom of the tower, just the top bit, that's what this is focused on, but I will show you how the tower builds up anyway. I'm making a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube of polished andesite here and I'm putting on some oak wood slabs and making it into a little cross shape to make five of these little 5x5x5 five by five by five cuboid and the site shapes. I'm going to fill in the corners here, little two by twos of stone brick. And what that should do is leave in the corners some more upper slabs being put into a two by two space, just like that. So that's the basic tower shape. It's like a five, two, two, five circle. And I'm going to add three more of those on top. It is up to you to decorate the tower. It's up to you to do the sides to make it look good. Um, please follow me on Instagram, by the way, because I'm going off to London uh, very soon. Or in fact, I'm probably in London by the time you're watching this video for VidCon. So follow me for pictures on Instagram. Okay, so that's the tower. It's a five, two, five tower. I'm going to add on seven blocks on the side. I would normally do this out of stone brick, but I'm using chiseled stone brick just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. The choice of blocks in this tutorial is pretty much down to you. But anyway, I'm adding on seven blocks at the side here. And then I'm going to hold the camera right in this corner so you can see exactly what I'm doing in this corner. We're going to add on two, two, and then a one. So here we go again with a, a nice view. Two, one, two. Two, two, one, whatever it is. It's the one in the middle and then two. Two twos and a one, the one being in the middle. And I'll just hold the camera here for a few seconds, give you a good look at the top of the tower. This is the basic top of the tower, which we want to end up with. As you can see, we've got seven, one, 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 seven kind of shape at the top. Seven, 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 seven on the four sides, and then just simple run of three diagonals in between those sevens. So it's a seven, one, 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 seven, one, 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 seven uh, shape. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, go for some stair blocks. I'm using spruce and on the sevens, uh, every alternate, we're gonna do this. So it's alternate, 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 and then seven blocks of spruce wood planks on top, like that. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, same on all four sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we've got these bits to do right here. We're gonna do one, two, and then a one. And then fill in the gaps. I think there's an easier way of counting this. Let me see if we can count this a, a, a much more easy way. Okay, so what if we go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one in the middle. That's a much easier way of counting it. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one in the middle. Excellent. You get the idea. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one in the middle. Yeah, that's a much, much better way. I've got one more to put in there. And there we go. We'll hold the camera there for a few seconds. You get a good, nice look at this stage. Okay, so I'm going to go for some uh, oak wood fence posts. We're going to go one. Um, yeah, that bit's wrong. <laughs> Ignore that just now. On the diagonals here, we simply go all four. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. So that's much better. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So let's do that. So we've got gaps of one on the long sevens. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Gap of one, gap of one, gap of one. And then on the diagonals, we have them all over the place. So what we want to do is uh, support our main wizard hat tower top or tower roof here with um, this uh, arrangement of fences and wooden blocks on top. So we'll just spin the camera around nice and slowly, give you a good view of exactly what we have so far. Okay, great. Uh, now we're going to move on to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plank blocks, could be spruce, could be whatever you want, but nine plank blocks. There's seven, eight, nine on the straight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Easy peasy on all four sides. Now the diagonals, we're going to go one, two, three, four. 
and then fill in one, two, three. So one, two, three, four on top of the fence posts. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, fill in. And same on the other sides. Fence posts first, and then fill in three. Fence posts next. One, two, three, four. There we go, great. Okay, again, spin the camera around nice and slowly, give you guys a good look at this. This is the basic structure to get to uh, before we do our wizard hat. Uh, once you've done this next stage, which is simply going to be uh, stairs, upside down stairs. Now, instead of doing it in spruce, I'm actually gonna do it in oak wood, and that just gives you, um, as a viewer, a much easier way of looking at this. So a simple run of upside down oak wood all the way around. Um, if I was building this for real, and when I built it in the 13 upgrades video, uh, I just kept it spruce, but uh, I'm changing into oak wood so you can see it exactly. So we just keep on doing this all the way around. Make sure they all connect nicely. And we're just about getting to the point where we can go for the roof, the brick roof. And the brick roof uses only slabs and full blocks. So it doesn't need to be brick, it could be anything. It could be wooden, it could be uh, nether brick, for example. It could be stone brick. So whatever you want for your roof is fine. It's not gonna use any stairs. So you've got a good choice of whatever block comes in slabs and stairs. Anyway, another quick look at the top of the tower. And I don't know why I'm Steve. <laughs> why am I Steve? <laughs> Anyway, we can zoom in here. I'm gonna grab some different slabs. Normally I would, this again would be um, spruce slabs, but anyway, we're gonna go for one in the middle and then three each side to make seven. And then one, two there. Again, seven on the straights. Two right in the middle on the diagonals and then seven on the straights again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, to. And this is the kind of shape you want to get to. This is where we're going to start putting on the uh, the bricks to actually make the roof. So hopefully that's all doable and countable by you. So I'm going to use brick uh, in this case. Once again, I'm Steve. Why am I Steve? Turn me into Yoda. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. There we go. Into Yoda. Right. So slabs. Brick slabs. Here we go. So it's gonna be one half slab up or half block up. Sticking out, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in line with these stone slabs. Again, the stone slabs probably would be wood if you were doing it. The stone slabs look a bit odd if you weren't uh, doing it in wood, but doing it in wood all over, the same wood would look a lot neater. Okay, so we're gonna to come to there. And two blocks there. Notice I'm taking away the diagonals. We're gonna have one, so it's two, two, and that brings us to a one in the middle. So it's like a seven, two, two, one. That's what this circle is. It's like a seven, two, two, and there's the one in the middle. So we've got uh, two blocks there, two blocks there, I'm gonna say blocks, I mean slabs of brick, and then one in the middle. Seven, two, two, one, two, two, seven. Seven, two, two, one, seven. There we go, perfect. And now the next stage is really simple. In fact, the rest of this tower is actually really, really simple. All I'm gonna do is get full blocks and fill them in all the way around again. Notice I'm not putting in the diagonals. So the diagonal corner blocks are not being placed. All I'm doing is going around like this. Simple as like that, there we go. And that is a really good stage done, a lot of good progress made. Okay, so uh, notice the tower has come up only half a block. So it's half a block it's come up, and the next round is definitely having its corners done. It's definitely having its diagonals. This is a continuous line of brick uh, blocks all the way around, continuous, as if you could walk on it 
all the way around. So we've come up a half, we've come up a half, and now we're coming up a full block. So we're just increasing the amount of um, height in the tower slowly. We've gone a half, a half, a full block. And now we're going to go uh, one and a half. So here's the one. All the way around, they need to do this uh, one block. Again, the rest of this is going to be uh, filling in every corner block being placed as if, again, you could walk around it. So if you're making a full continuous path around. So there's one. And now we're going to switch to uh, the slab. And then slab uh, goes on next. So we've come up from the beginning, we've come up a half, a half, one, and one and a half. So we're just gradually increasing the amount of vertical increase in height of this tower by a small amount, a half, a half, one, and then one and a half. So that's one and a half, okay, one and a half, half, a half, one, one and a half. And now we're going to come up another one and a half, I believe. We'll find out in a second. So this is the half, as you can see, we're peaking out and sticking up by only a half a block here. Okay, so that's the half. Now we need to add on another block there to make another uh, <clears throat> whole block to make one and a half sticking up in total, increasing the height of the tower by one and a half blocks. So there we go, we've got two one and a halves in a row, two one and a halves in a row. It's going to half a half, one, one and a half, one and a half. Now we're going to bring uh, our bricks up again. And I think this one's going to be a two. So the here is one block high. And we're simply going to add on top of that. And this means we've increased the height of the tower by two full blocks this time. Great. Two full blocks, so the, the, the tower slowly, slowly starts to get higher and higher, um, but the, the amount it's going higher each time increases. It's an increasing rate of highness, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to slowly move the camera around again to give you guys a really good view of this. Great, okay, so once again I'm Steve. Why am I Steve? Anyway, let's zoom into what should be Yoda in a second. <laughs> There we go. Boom. I'm Yoda. Uh, believe, believe me, I'm Yoda. Right. Anyway, we're going up again. Um, so this time, we'll see how much we go up by. It's either going to be two or three. Anyway, here's our first block. Again, putting in all the diagonals as if you could walk around in a continuous path. So that's one. Adding on another level. means we've gone up by two, and then we're going up another level. So we're going up by three this time, three higher than the last level. There we go, so that's level, that level is now complete. Oh, we can put on these little ones on the sides as well, just for a touch of detail. And we're going up again. So this time, it's one, two higher, and I'm going to move the camera around very slowly, give you guys a good look at this once again. And then we'll restart. We're going to come in to, I don't know, these uh, eight squares in the middle. And these are going to come up three, four, four high. Three by three, four high. And don't forget little extra ones on the bottom there on the sides. And then we're going to come up uh, five blocks here. One, two, three, four, five to make a little cross shape here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can finish this tower off with 
a little bit of wall block on top. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Guys, let me tell you about my Patreon.com just before you go. Patreon.com forward slash Andy is your day. You can come in for $1, $3, $5, or $10 and support my channel. There's a variety of different awards like uh, coaching on my server, building with me on my server, on my live streams. I'm live twice a day, 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. UK times, and I am building this massive city with my Patreon. You can contribute. You can get uh, newsletters, coaching, extra videos, extra pictures, and you can contact me on Discord, you can come and chat to me on Discord and friend me on Discord. There's lots and lots of benefits on patreon.com forward slash Andy is your Check it out. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. With the blocks, be with you.